Hello everybody, today we're going to be unboxing this. Um, now, as usual, it's too big to fit on the mini tripod I use. Unless I'm doing a big video, because I'll use the big tripod then. But anyway, what it is, is, as it says, a safety isolator. Now, what are we safety isolating? We are safety isolating a fire alarm panel, because my current fire alarm panel... Um, actually, I'll show you. Right, I'm picking up the tripod here, I'm being brave. Um, there's the fire alarm panel. And out of the back of it comes the wire, the mains wire, and it goes down into that plug, into this trail and socket extension, which has been screwed to the wall and down into a plug socket, a mains plug socket down there. But no, I don't want it like that. I'm changing it all, so instead of a trail and socket here, there is going to be a proper mains, mains powered, socket running from that junction box Junk, junction box so anyway I bought a safety isolator because I was going to do that but I didn't like the idea of doing it without um, being able to turn off the fire alarm panel so I bought the safety isolator switch so 26 quid but it, I had to get it so you know let's open it Hmm, trying to get it on an angle so you can see. Anyway, there's what's in it. So, we take out first. Are the keys in a little packet? So, they'll presumably be for the key switch to turn it on and off. Put them there. We get these instructions. And there's a picture of the thing itself and all the wire connections. So, 240 volt mains in, out to fire panel. And here is the main switch. So, as you can see, it says fire alarm, do not switch off. But obviously, if you never switched it off, the thing would be pointless. Do not switch it off by authorised person, is what it should say. So as we can see, the needle key switch indicator is in the off position. So if we wanted to turn our fire alarm on, and this was connected, we'd put the key in there, and we'd just go to on. And now it would turn the fire alarm on. Um, and of course, off, we wanted to service the panel, and we didn't really want mains running into it. We could turn it off. And it's like a mini fuse board in a way, because this does have a fuse, but it's like just a mini fuse board for the fire alarm panel. So anyway, I'll get a little screwdriver and we'll open it up and see what's inside. Because I know it did say it was fused on the Amazon description. Screw there. Looks all nice and new and shiny though. That's one thing it's got going for it. So, got a good red colour scheme going on today, haven't I? Right, so, take the top off. And put that there for now, without looking too much into what that's about yet. We've got a red back box, and actually that's pretty much what it is. But one thing I have noticed is there's no knockouts on this back box, on the sides. There's only a cable entry point in the middle, so I may need to hacksaw some knockouts out at the side because I'm going to be mounting this onto a wooden surface. And there's, well, anyway, I need knockouts. So here we have the unit itself. Fire alarm, do not switch off. It's got a power light. Now, I believe, from what I could gather in the description, this doesn't come on whether there's power into this. It comes on. That little light comes on when there's power into the fire panel. So if I put the key in and turn it on, the light should come on because there will be power flowing into the fire panel. If we turn it off, that light should go off. So it works like that. Um, and obviously there's an open switch symbol there, and that's a green neon indicator. So let's go to the back of it, move them screws. We've got in, 250 volts, that's probably the max in it can take. Live, earth, neutral and then live earth neutral out so obviously that's in from the mains and out to the fire panel and this looks like our little switch um, fuse here take this 
off. Well, is it going to come? I'll get a screwdriver on it and see if we can get it off that way. Oh, that's interesting. It's pinged away. There we go. Right, so there's a little fuse in there, and of what ampires, amps, whatever they call them, we'll see now. Right. Uh, this is. Uh, I can't read, it's probably something ridiculous like one amp. Little glass fuse. Um, no, probably something like one amp though, and of course, so if you wanted to fit a replacement fuse or whatever, the fuse just slides into its holder like this, and then it goes in like that, and you push it in, and now the fuse is in place. So if the fire panel draws too much current or whatever, that fuse will blow. Even though as well, there's a fuse in the fire panel as well. So there's a fuse in the fire panel and there's a fuse in this. So if anything goes wrong, one of those two fuses or both of them will blow. So of course we've got that set up there and we've got a piece of black plastic that's been glued on here and behind there is the key switch mechanism. Because key switch mechanisms are very thick and they stick out a lot. So as we can see, there's the start of it and obviously the end of it will be in there. You can see what they look like on one of my burglar alarm videos of a key switch panel. I, can, I show the mechanism. I show the mechanism on one of them. So anyway, that's that. So that's pretty much all it is really. So say like we'd mounted this now. We'd put that like that. We do all the wiring. Put the top on. Put in one of the screws in there like that. We put that down, 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 down. So it's in there, and then obviously we do the same for the other one, like so. And then obviously both the screws be in, and you'd be free to use this unit as you needed to now. So I just put the other screw in. So there we have it. So obviously now, now we've mounted it, we turn on our fire alarm, take out the keys and put it in a safe place. So this was just a video really on the unboxing of this and I'm not going to demonstrate it purely because I can't, it's not got any mains power to it. And it wouldn't do any good demonstrating it because it's not connected to a fire panel. So once I have wired it and connected it, I will do um, a demonstration video. But that's all for now. So thanks for watching, folks, and I'll see you later.